Hi, I'm Trey Ratcliffe, and I have a huge announcement about Aurora HDR 2018. As you know by now, this is the best software for creating a live, vibrant HDR images. In fact, Aurora HDR has been used over 100 million times to create HDR photos. That's just incredible. It's perfect for beginners and pros, and wait till you see what's next. Ah. 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 So the two big questions floating around the internet are, A, what are the new features for Aurora HDR 2018? And B, is it really coming out for the PC? Let me begin by answering B. I'll begin with a very simple analogy. Some people say a Mac is like snow dogs, and a PC is like a snowmobile. Other people say Macs are like snowmobiles, and a PC is like snow dogs. I don't know who would make such a stupid analogy, not me, but obviously the next question is, why is a snowmobile allowed to go see the Aurora, but snow dogs aren't? And then someone would ask, wait, what perspective are you asking that from? Are you asking that from the perspective of a PC owner or a Mac owner? But it gets a bit confusing with all these third person references, doesn't it? So let me just give you the straight dope. Yes, it's coming out for Mac and PC. It's coming out at the same time. You don't even have to wait all the way to 2018. Some might even say the PC version is a bit faster. You are gonna love it. Some of you might know that I switched from Mac to Windows about a year ago, so I had to call up our partners at Mac Fun and crack the whip and unleash the dragons. So now, finally, Aurora HDR is the best of class software for all users, for all computers, except for those weird Linux people. And moving backwards in my question answering, question A, what are the new features in Aurora 2018? It has a new UI, it has new lens corrections, it has all kinds of stuff I forgot about. And even better now, Aurora is twice as fast. I'm holding up two fingers. As for me, I love snow dogs. And you Linux people, you get out of luck.